what's going through my mind at this moment is an intense worry about my friends who are trapped on the bottom of the North Atlantic. Friends like OceanGate CEO Stockton Rush and renowned French explorer Paul-Henri Nargelet. It becomes difficult just doing the mundane, the mundane things that you need to do during the day because you keep thinking you're having a cup of coffee, you're eating lunch, and what are they doing? So it's a torturous process. The search for the Titan submersible covers a vast section of the North Atlantic. Canadian and American crews working against the clock, scouring an area the U.S. Coast Guard estimates to be twice the size of Connecticut. You go into a world of utter darkness where light can never penetrate. A world Alfred Hagen has been to before. His last voyage aboard the Titan was just last year. It's withstanding pressures unknown anywhere else on Earth. And you can't, a lot of times you can't even get radio signals. That's why losing communications doesn't necessarily mean that there's a problem because we lost communication sporadically. Hagen says he and the other passengers were well aware of the risks of the deep sea expedition. There is not an exhaustive amount of backup systems and safety mechanisms because this this was an experimental craft and we were doing something that was very dangerous. On Wednesday, the U.S. Coast Guard confirmed that a Canadian P-3 aircraft had detected underwater noises in the search area, but ROV searches have been unable to turn up anything definitive. You're pushing technology absolutely to the limits. You're down 12 and a half thousand feet. The pressures are immense. Brent Sadler is a senior research fellow with Washington, D.C.-based think tank, the Heritage Foundation. But if they are found uh, and the, the hole is intact, in other words, it hasn't imploded, which means there's a possibility that people inside are alive. They need to attach a cable to it, get it to the surface. A process that will take time, a precious commodity that is quickly running out. Shalima Maharaj, Global News.